Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. Today won't be quite as massive of an undertaking as the previous episode. Today, I wanted to delve into something I found quite interesting and unique in Assassin's Creed Odyssey in regards to Isu technology. I'm talking about the Ancient Forge of Hephaestus. I want to get into why it is a unique element for Odyssey storytelling, what it is used for, as well as possible foreshadowing and implications of the future with an Isu location such as the Forge. So I won't drag this intro on too long, let's just get right into the video. Over the past decade plus, we have seen many Isu temples, artifacts and structures throughout Assassin's Creed media, all of which have their varying uses and important elements to the games, books and movie specific storylines. When it comes to temples or vaults that the Isu have constructed, the most primary use we have seen in the past is to hold information and retransmit messages to the future. The first major Isu structure we saw was the vault underneath the Vatican in Assassin's Creed 2. This vault was built to transmit a message through time to Desmond Miles through the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze. As years have gone by, we have seen many more incredible structures made by the Isu, not to mention those mind-controlling devices called Pieces of Eden. In Assassin's Creed 3, we saw the Grand Temple, a place that has unprecedented information on the Isu, as well as the Eye, a device capable of sending messages through time and altering the calculations of existence. Oh, and don't forget the actual consciousness of Juno herself. In Black Flag, we got to see the Observatory, an Isu site capable of tracking and seeing through the eyes of all those whose blood was brought to the temple device. In Rogue, we saw Isu temples that actually held the Earth together, known as seismic temples, and when interfered with caused catastrophic events, like the earthquake in Lisbon in 1755. What I'm getting at here is there are a massive number of Isu structures we have seen, that has pieces of Eden, knowledge and power with varying purposes, like keeping the earth together, sending messages through time, and observing society. It started to feel to me like we have seen everything from the Isu, and the mystery with them is gone completely. And while much of their mystique has evaporated over the years, in Assassin's Creed Odyssey we saw an Isu temple like one we have not seen in Assassin's Creed before, the ancient forge of Hephaestus. The forge, located on the Greek island of Andros, is an Isu structure that was used to construct powerful weaponry that we see throughout the game, like the Spear of Leonidas, the Sword of Demos, among other weapons that we see in secret areas. The forge was used and named after the Isu known as Hephaestus, a revered figure known as a god of smithing, forging and fire in Greek and Roman mythology. Not a lot of information is known about Hephaestus in Assassin's Creed lore other than he created many pieces of Eden and trained infamous Isu Consus in forging, as well as presumably being the creator of the ancient forge seen in Odyssey itself. Though the forge is still used to build extremely powerful weapons, as far as we know, the forge was not used to build pieces of Eden, like staves, swords or apples. There are chambers to the forge blocked off over time, but the main chamber only has four molds seen in the pillars surrounding the center chamber platform. One mold is clearly for the Spear of Leonidas, and throughout Odyssey is used to upgrade the spear using shards collected from members of the Cult of Cosmos. The spear was molded in the forge and presumably was given to the bloodline that led down to Leonidas, all the way to the famed Mystios, a bloodline with strong genetic ties to the Isu themselves. The second mold was used to construct the Sword of Demos, one of the leaders and sages of the Cult of Cosmos and the younger sibling of the Mystios. The sword, like the spear, is extremely powerful and when wielded by people with Isu DNA can unleash special abilities with it. There are two other molds seen in the Ancient Forge in Odyssey. One is for a bludgeon and the other is for an axe of some kind. Thing is, we actually see both of these weapons used in Odyssey. They are both in the possession of special mythical creatures that are guarding pieces of Eden themselves. The axe is called the Minotaur's Labrys and is wielded, you guessed it, by the Minotaur, one of several creatures created by the Isu in the Olympus Project. Another one of these creatures is the Cyclops who wielded the bludgeon built in the Ancient Forge. We discover from messages left behind by the Isu Aletheia in Atlantis that these creatures were Isu creations as part of what was called the Olympus Project. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. 
These weapons, like the axe and the bludgeon, were presumably built specifically for these creatures as part of the project, used to safeguard the pieces of Eden, and in turn, the entrance to Atlantis. I'm afraid precursor interference is behind this. A corruption in biological programming. Technological artifacts merging with flesh to create monstrous hybrids. Now seeing how the Forge is used and introduced throughout Odyssey, there is a line of dialogue that could potentially make reference to future plot devices in the modern day. As I said earlier in the video, the Ancient Forge is an Isu location unlike one we have ever seen before, though one that makes a lot of sense in its existence, a place not just used to construct Isu technology, but upgrade and improve it. That plants the seed in the head of modern day protagonist Layla. You don't understand. This confirms it. Alexios didn't just have Isu technology, he had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. The first thought in Layla's head after seeing the Forge in Odyssey is what else could the Forge or other Isu sites be capable of in terms of building on existing Isu technology? Could Layla actually take the staff of Hermes and build upon it, improve it and make it even more powerful than it already is? We know Layla seeks the ability to break the code of time, to alter the calculations of existence as the Isu once did. Maybe the staff as it stands is not enough. Maybe it does need to be improved upon. Based on the fact that the forge itself has only four known molds, it probably isn't the place to do that. But knowing locations like the forge exist does bring up the fact that we have not yet seen any Isu sites in Assassin's Creed that are places pieces of Eden were constructed. Could that be something that is next for Layla? Could an Isu site be capable of doing that? I mean, we know Layla is a character that is obsessed with problem solving, building, and improving. I mean, she never shuts up about how good her animus is and how she keeps upgrading it. That's Abstergo equipment, which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an animus console prototype, Brahmin variant, with the IO capacities pushed to their max, ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. It would definitely make sense for Layla to seek out improvements to the staff of Hermes that is now in her possession. That could be the next reason for her to head back into the Animus in the next game, to find a place to improve the staff. An Isu site where pieces of Eden were created, similar to the Forge. It would be another site we have never seen something like before in the franchise, something that's existence makes total sense. Something that would have massive implications on both the modern day and an ancestor storyline. But again, that's just my theory as what could be coming next. With that, we are done with this video ladies and gentlemen. A bit of a shorter one, but one I definitely felt needed to be talked about both with the Forge's uniqueness and its possible implications to future Isu sites in the next Assassin's Creed titles. I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you very soon for more videos and episodes of Assassin's Creed The Truth. Oh, no,